the man in black has won a lot of awards in his life. And um, there is a man in black achievement award. There are several awards. There are several Johnny Cash's memorabilia in the archives of American history. So um, we're going to dive into that a little bit and Johnny Cash's friendship with the original outlaw, the OG Weather and Jennings. And um, yeah, a bit about um, our country and the good parts of it, as there are bad parts of everything. I don't like to focus on them. I do sometimes, but it's toxic. <laughs> so, um, and Man, Man in Black was a one of a kind artist, uh, and up up to the very end, uh, he was creating amazing music and uh, touching people's hearts. And the coolest, one of the coolest things I've heard Greg here say is he first started his journey into country music. Um, well, older country music, we'll say. Uh, recently, and versus he's on this channel, and, and he was a metalhead before, and I've heard him say that. And when you come to think of it, uh, a lot of the country singers are more metal than the metal singers. So I yeah. thought that was that was a pretty good statement because it's um not necessarily supposed to be taken literally, but it's 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 a true thing. Mm -hmm. so. And like a lot of metal singers look up to guys like Johnny Cash because they they walked it like they talked it, they uh they lived it like they played it. And there's a reference to heavy metal first in the seven of song Born to Be Wild, which I always assumed was an American band, but they're actually Canadian. So Canadian, there you go. yeah. <laughs> um, hey, it's the way the world turns. It's a great song, Indeed. great band. Another on Canada. We got a lot of Canadian music. We got a, play a playlist. So. But this is about American music. Let's do it. Yep. Johnny Cash was born to be wild. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Waylon Jennings! Remember when me and you used to room together? Yeah, I do, Waylon. I, about 12 years ago. 13. Was that long ago? I believe it was. I tell you, this guy is the sloppiest housekeeper in the world. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> He's a pretty good cook. And uh, he wore his, he wore black when he, when he cooked, too. And he's been a good friend, he still is. So you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. I always wanted to sing a song about prisons, really. Really? Let's do it. All right, All let's right. do it. <laughs> Bet your sister's still on the phone Bet mama's in the kitchen Cooking fried chicken Wishing that I hadn't done wrong Oh, but don't you worry about it none, though, mama Everything's gonna be all right, mama They're teaching us a lot of new things in here Things like There ain't no good in an evil-hearted woman Cut out to be no Jesse J And he don't go writing hot checks Down in Mississippi And there ain't no good change in it Man, Waylon, Waylon's got that damn grit for days, man That is so good, he does that <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry Now in Mississippi Sorry, oh Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Uh, the interesting thing about Waylon is just because of his reputation and his <laughs> even his look, I just assumed that when he sang, it was going to be like almost nothing but grit. I thought that was going to be like present throughout his entire uh, singing. But his basic <laughs> yeah. sound is really nice. It's clear. It's really yeah. smooth. It's, it's deep. Clear. It's manly. But yeah, it's really pleasant sounding. But yeah, when he wants to lay that grit on it, it's, yeah, it's hardcore. And Johnny just has that badass voice, even when he's speaking. And basically, in the first part of the song, that's what he's doing, just singing, just talking his lines, essentially. And so, then they go into the chorus, where they've, uh, you know, their voices... Johnny really Cash well. may... I'm sorry. Johnny Cash may be the best spoken singer ever. I mean, yeah. Johnny Cash does... The first time I heard you say that, I was like, man, but... 
thing I listen to it, Johnny Cash, when even when he sings, he's almost like speaking. He's really good at that. Like, I thought I had him on the wrong ear. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Been there. But um, yeah, he he actually does. I, I'm not saying he doesn't have vocal technique. I'm saying he does it use it a lot. <laughs> I mean, he goes with that good fundamental sound, that deep voice, that his you know his phrasing. It it's awesome. And yeah, he he, he can. Mi- he can generate so much emotion from doing seemingly so little just because of what he puts into it. Um, and also, like, his guitar technique is really unique, too, how he strums up high on the neck and so you know, the gun and, pose. And, and, and Waylon's tone, that, you know, that buddy oh, Holly. Yeah, that fighting. Icy, guitar there and that tone. Yeah. yeah, they're both very unique. They're both very, yeah. Yesterday's May Wishing that the hay was all bay I bet he's wishing We could go fishing Here I am laying in jail yeah. Oh, but Papa, don't you worry about now. now Everything's gonna be all right They're teaching us a lesson a day And we're learning pretty well, too We already learned a whole lot of stuff already Stuff like There ain't no good And you don't go writing hot checks down in Mississippi And there ain't no good chain game And you don't go writing hot checks down in Mississippi And there ain't no good chain game That's a great shot right there. <clears throat> so yeah, that's... Uh, that's a response to the, you know, the good-hearted woman. So, the evil-hearted woman and the good-hearted woman. And Jesse Coulter was a good-hearted woman, a loving, a good-time man. One of the best lines ever is, um, be careful of something. That's exactly what you, what oh, you want yeah. it to be. Mm. Mm-hmm. God, that's, yeah. ooh, man, that's such a good, such a good life. Be careful of something it's... that's exactly what you want it to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was, Waylon said something about Johnny cooking in black. It, it's best to cook in black because if you make a mess, it's not nearly as evident as if you wear white. Uh, but unless you're so, working in the 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 ah, but I did with, with powder everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. There's that. Um, but Waylon just seems like a very likable, like easy to get along with guy as long as you don't get on his bad side. Just seeing him with like the um, just like with the highwaymen and the. Uh, don't remember what the song was. I would I would have been out of jail out of jail by now, something like that. This is, it just seems like a very natural, likable, funny guy. Uh, he actually started with Buddy Holly's band, which I did not know. Uh, almost ended up on that plane that ended up you know the day the music died. Uh, was actually friends with Paul McCartney and the Beatles. And he just told me this, and that blew my mind. And what did Paul say about uh, Waylon not being what he expected? <laughs> Well, Waylon said to Paul, he's like, man, you guys aren't near what I expected. Paul responds with, us? We thought you guys killed people. <laughs> or shot people is what he said. But, <laughs> like, yeah, you're the damn one. It's different than what you, yeah, we thought you'd be. You know, so, yeah. yeah um, uh, he's, done, uh, uh, he's done a, a tour in London, yeah. So. Yeah. He sang that song with uh, Willie Nelson about don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys, about how, you know, being a loner being your own person, but he, he has this chemistry with uh, these people that's really, really cool to see. Just him and uh, Johnny Cash, you know, they're known as outlaws. They've sung some very dark stuff, but they're out up there jamming like just good friends, smiling, having a great time. It's really beautiful to see. But in all of our lives, they're so beautiful, we all encounter very dark things. So very true. I think this is necessary in music. That's why I love mm-hmm. tools so much. But anyway, let's get back to this. 
I was gonna say this is just part of it. The rest of this is um, that was just like an open little piece there. Chet Atkins, hey Chet, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Johnny. I'm happy to be here representing the many musicians of Local 257 here in Nashville who are very happy to have you as one of their members, and they want to present you with this plaque. Well, thank you very much. And I'd like to read it to you. I'll need these first. Yeah. <laughs> to Johnny Cash, in recognition and appreciation of 25 years of professional musicianship and loyalty to the American Federations of Musicians and Local 257, Nashville, Tennessee, and it's signed by our president, Johnny D. George, and Dutch Gordon, the Secretary of Treasury. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you being out with us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you very much. Chet Atkins and Waylon Jennings, two of the people in my life that I've been most fortunate to know. You know, in a quarter of a century, I've sung about railroads and I've sung about prisons and I've sung about America. If you get the feeling that you're in an old deserted building, you are. I guess you could almost call it a shrine. The official name is the Ryman Auditorium, but America knew it as the Grand Ole Opry. From the time that music first takes hold of a country boy, he dreams of the day when he and his music can come to Nashville. For me, that dream was to someday stand on this stage, and that dream came true. I stood where Hank Williams had stood, and Tex Ritter, and Roy Acuff and Red Foley. With its stained glass windows and benches, it's been called the mother church of country music. I can tell you, it's really a thrill to be back here tonight. This old place is American as apple pie. And so is this song I'd like to do for you. I walked through a county courthouse square and on a park bench, an old man was sitting there. I said, your old courthouse is kind of run down. He said, no, it'll do for our little town. I said, your old flagpole's kind of leaned a little bit, and that's a ragged old flag you got hanging on it. He said, have a seat, and I sat down. Is this the first time you've come to our little town? I said, I think it is. He said, I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag there when Washington took it across the Delaware. And it got powder burned the night Francis Scott Key set up watching it writing, Say, Can You See? And it got a little rip in New Orleans with Packenham and Jackson tugging at its seams. And it almost fell at the Alamo beside the Texas flag, but she waved on, though. It got cut with a sword at Chancellorsville got cut again at Shiloh Hill. There was Robert E. Lee, Beauregard, and Bragg, and the south wind blew hard on that ragged old flag. On Flanders Field in World War I, she took a bad hold from a Bertha gun. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung limp and low by the time that one was through. She was in Korea, Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. She waved from our ships upon the briny foam, and now we've about quit waving her back here at home. And in her own good land here, she's been abused, she's been burned, dishonored, denied, refused, and now the very government for which she stands is scandalized throughout the land. And she's getting threadbare, and she's wearing kind of thin. But she's in good shape for the shape she's in. Cause she's been through the fire before and she can take a whole lot more. So we raise her up every morning and we bring her down slowly every night. We don't let her touch the ground and we fold her upright. On second thought, I guess I do like to brag. Cause I'm mighty proud of that ragged old flag. Christmas songs. John, 
I wanted to come back out at this point uh, in the show to remind the people out there of one highlight in Johnny Cash's career that you might be a little reluctant to discuss. Oh, really? Dare I ask what it uh, <laughs> might be? It's not. <laughs> Let's comment on the song first. <laughs> uh, that, that was a classic example of a vocal line that was spoken more than it was same, sung. Same thing. And this is, I think some people might see that as being like low effort, but think of how good you have to be and how confident you have to be and how dialed into the message of the song to actually pull that off. Like I, you could probably count the number of people that could pull that off the way Johnny did on one hand. Um, it's really impressive. And you, you could feel what he was saying. It, it was a beautiful story. Just sort of like the flag being a symbol of all of these things that have occurred. The, um, just the growing pains of a nation, I guess, represented in the damage that's been done. Um, I guess, I don't remember what, sort of like if you're, as a person, your scars are your story. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, you want to take pride in them. That's what it took. Like you mentioned before, Danny, how dark things have to be there for the good to take place. And yeah. that's, that's part of our stories as human beings. It's how we overcome. Um, yeah, just really poignant, very beautiful. And, you know, Johnny Cash did it in a way that only the man in black could. Oh, no, my, my screen was lagging a little bit. I plugged it up. Um, yeah, like my, a great actor like Morgan Freeman can also be a wonderful speaker. And I think that's like Johnny Cash to speaking to. He's like, I mean, Morgan Freeman could, I was thinking of people who could have pulled that off the way he did. I think Morgan Freeman could have stood up and pulled it off the thing. So, yeah. But Morgan can't sing and Johnny can't act. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the their own. But, I, that would be my set. equivalent. Yeah, that would be yeah. my equivalent of like some people can just hit you with speaking. And um, yeah, um, there are um, portions of that flag that I don't like, and there's a lot of it that I do though. So I think that comes with anything. A lot of people don't want to admit that, but um, there are parts of everything I don't like. But yeah, you don't. Things. And there's there are a thing. Dark things that I like, but. Don't like yeah. most of it. There's a saying that you like something or someone for their uh, their good qualities, but you love them for their you know their flaws or their defects. I, I can sort of see where that, that comes from. It's no one and nothing is perfect, so it's just a, a balancing act, a harmony, if you will. But that is a great way to set up this. That um is a night that may have seemed rather perfect. Oh wait a minute, I gotta come back. Sorry, y'all. Great to see Chris there too. Yeah. Not one of those horror stories of the old days. No, it was it was the 1969 Country Music Association Awards, and I got to say, Hoss, you cleaned the decks on that one. <laughs> hey, hey, number six, this is your Johnny Cash and Jimmy Page. Would you believe one of my best friends, yeah, the guy I've done the first tour with, Mr. Johnny Cash. Yeah. 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 Johnny Cash. Yeah. Do you mean see? Yeah. Johnny Cash. Three didn't leave that much for my mom and me. Just this old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Yeah, I, I didn't record the rest of it, but I, I've never heard a boy named Sue. That'd be a great reaction for us to do sometimes. Yeah, I've heard of the song. I've heard it mentioned, but I've never, never really never heard, heard it either. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think, I don't know. I think that was it. He was starting there. I mean, I know it good enough to know it when I hear it, but I really don't. I've never listened. I don't know what it really is. Yeah. I'm out of tear. I don't know why, but <laughs> ah. yeah, uh, just I hope Willie showed up at one point in there. That would make the whole Highwaymen, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, get together. Uh, yeah, just 
I used to I think the highwaymen, I, man. They had been friends and hanging together for way before that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I, I got you. That was one of your first country reactions. So. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go back to them, I think, and redo them because like, we'd be doing the Australian reactions there. Our tech was really bad. When we, oh, yeah. When we, say, when we say the older videos are really bad, we're talking about the tech we had, not the Our part. Themselves. Yeah, our part. We've react. We've done plenty of quality reactions to low-quality videos. But, yeah, we're talking about our equipment. Um, but I think one of the things that I've noticed most about the, the, the you know, lost outlaw country, forgotten country, real country, whatever you want to call it, it's just that these people feel like, I was going to say characters, because I was thinking that Johnny Cash's voice is just suits his character fine, but like they're not characters. They're, these are humans. These are people you could run into at a at a at a, at a you know train station or at a you know the grocery store. Uh, just God help you if it's George Jones on a lawnmower. But uh, there's people you could see in your life. You know, you, there's people that you know, remind you of them, uh, and I think that it creates a connection that you really don't get in a lot of other types of music. You know, uh, you some don't get it in like, country music no more either. So I'm not saying that in a negative way, yeah, but, but they are definitely it. made up characters now. They are not. But yeah, they there are some real like, ones, but they're only real away from the industry. Yeah, it feels much they more like pop. It. It's, it's like they're these uh, create this like uh, simulation of a person, a character that's sort of used to sell things, sell albums, sell singles, sell whatever. Whereas these guys. They were just living, and they were telling you about their life. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the man's face. Never mind the middle finger. Look at that man's face. <laughs> he means that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I love the story behind that picture, too. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this, mm. and yeah, that's why I love doing these country reactions, because if we can bring this, uh, bring this music to some more people and keep bringing it to me, quite frankly. I, I think I'm getting as much out of this as anybody. So, yeah, Johnny Cash was the man. Men in Black, uh, Rock in Paradise, and yeah, just one of a kind. There's never going to be another. Yep. Much love to y'all. I'm going to we're gonna do a boy named Sue. Got to. I don't feel like the country music knowledge can be fully grasped without it. So, um, much love trying to get to keep these under 20 minutes. But that was actually two songs, and oh, he kicked their ass at night the horn. <laughs> Whatever that was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he's making a killing there. Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Um, At some point, uh, Johnny Cash is one of the few people that the president has asked to go meet. Yeah. <laughs> More than one have asked to go meet Johnny Cash. They did with Elvis too. So, and those two hung out actually quite a bit. Yeah, you think that. after a while back, can you just bring the award down to me? I've been up and down those stairs like ten times. Just toss it my way. Yeah. You can almost see the. the and Jerry Lee Lewis is out. Well, hell, I guess Johnny's winning the round. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jerry Lee. But, um, you know, <laughs> your name is not quite as relevant as Johnny Cash. I'm sorry. Yeah. Johnny, and Johnny was unstoppable that night. And, and I'll be. So, real quick, somebody told me that the, the, I, I, there there actually is a, a idea that he never set a piano on fire. If anybody knows the real story, let me know in the comments. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's was, that was pretty much done. I don't. I had right, something so I guys. forgot it. So, yeah. Thank y'all very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to, thanks to support the channel. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you want to hear. Talk country. Talk. Tell us about Johnny Cash. We're gonna do the, uh, the cocaine song about Johnny Cash. We're gonna put that on Patreon only. So. <laughs> oh yeah. By all means. Much love. Where he shot his woman down. <laughs> yeah.